Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I want to show you uh, a couple things I've been talking about in my recent videos. Uh, one is the triangular rocks. Um, you find them all over the place. I have a few examples of them here today. Uh, and then also the other thing is, is scale. What are we looking at when we're looking at these pictures? Um, I see other YouTubers who are looking in, at the same pictures I am, but I don't think they understand the scale yet. And uh, this is just something that I happened upon, I suppose by accident. And uh, you know, it's been my reality ever since I started doing this about six months ago. Um, this picture that you're looking at right now uh, has a uh, four triangular rocks uh, in the foreground and uh, it's a kind of a pretty picture and it's pretty clear um, of course until you start reaching out too far but those rocks look like what uh, you know 50 yards out there a couple of you know pretty good sized rocks but they're all triangular they're all standing on their end and then all of a sudden when you come in close you realize that uh, they are not uh, rocks at all they're buildings they're structures and they're very very large and they are in the distance so you go from looking at something that you think is 50 yards away and now all of a sudden it's a really long ways away and these things are really enormous uh, especially you know if you look at the one on the right there and the little black building next to it I call it a little building but it's a high rise and all those other rocks that are around there that you think are rocks are not rocks they're buildings here's another location uh, I did a video on this recently but uh, this one, uh, this time I'm just looking at uh, some of the triangles that I'm, I'm seeing. And I actually did a video, uh, some pictures on the, on the one triangle. But there's, there's more triangles in this picture. There's actually three. There may be more. Uh, some of them are really little and actually some are laying on the sides. But I can't bring them in because the, uh, the pixels jump in and things are, start getting pretty blurry. So. But I was able to look at the one on the right. And, uh, you know, uh, it's a cluster of buildings that form this triangular shape. So if you look closely, you can see all those different buildings in there. And they all there's quite a few openings um, that you always see. And then look at the grate behind. There's actually buildings behind that, too. And this is another great shot here. But here's a couple of... Uh, of triangular rocks off in the distance and when you come in on them they're not uh, not rocks after all the one on the right has actually got the stair step design and the one on the left is is structures a little harder to see but you can see it and then there's the crazy structure to the left of it kind of sitting there and here's one of the really deceitful pictures I love the little meter that they put in there they said that's one meter you see those little rocky bluffs there um, those are rocky bluffs. That is not one meter. That's probably should be more like uh, two kilometers. And there's buildings you can't see them. Uh, there, the picture is too corrupted. But uh, if you zoom in on those rocky bluffs area, you can see these uh, these buildings. But they're they're pretty corrupted. But they're there. And uh, that big rock on the left, you know, I think that that rock was placed there. Maybe, maybe not. But it's sort of a typical shape of uh, uh, one of the other shapes of the buildings that you find around. And uh, the other one's just there. <clears throat> and then all those gray rocks back there are buildings. And the one I circled there, that is one of the shapes that you see um, when you're looking at all these pictures. And... Uh, you know, you see really the triangular ones, but you find those too. And I'll, I'll start making a collection of those, and I'll, I'll put them up. That last picture was a pretty big panoramic, but this is the only triangular rock, uh, I think, in that picture. And it's really quite large and quite detailed. Uh, it's more orderly than some of the other ones that I've looked at. This picture, uh, I was excited when I saw it. I thought, oh boy, there's so much here. We're really going to get to pull this in. But it's, it, it blows up immediately. Uh, there's really pretty much unable to, to bring much in. However, those triangular rocks in the distance, um, you know, I was able to, you know, get some kind of image of them there. 
but if you look at it, uh, it almost looks like the buildings are there and maybe that NASA painted over it and, and you're seeing through that paint, I don't know. Uh, this picture, uh, this page, both of those pictures are corrupted. Uh, it says down at the bottom there, uh, like 10 meters or, or oh, centimeters, that's right. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, on the top of this slab right here in, the, in that milky area up there, those are all structures. So, uh, and like either these people are really super small or uh, the centimeters thing is ridiculous. Now in this picture, um, the top picture is no good, but the bottom picture um, was pretty uncorrupted. So uh, I was able to zoom in on some of this stuff and uh, uh, there's all kinds of buildings and different structures there all throughout this whole area here. And you know they're trying to say again that was, uh, I, I forget what it was, you know, meters or centimeters or whatever it was. Uh, it's ridiculous. Um, it should be kilometers. And you can very clearly see these buildings and either these people are really, really, really small or, you know, maybe NASA's lying. Uh, you know, they haven't really been known to do that, but, you know, it's not their fault. It comes from the higher ups. Now, this is a beautiful picture and, and I'm, this is going to be, we're going to be talking about scaling here. What a fantastic picture. There's so much to see in the distance. There's the hill on the right hand side, but guess what? You see these rocks in the foreground? How far away are they? Uh, you know, 20 feet? 100 feet? Well, I got news for you. Uh, probably you know where I'm going. These are not rocks at all. These are ginormous structures. And they're not just structures, uh, they're groups of structures that make up these rocks. And uh, you know, it's been very difficult. I, I gave it the old college try. I hope I can uh, bring this out for you enough to see. But uh, all of these rocks down here are, are, are structures. And even you can just even just see the texture alone will tell you that, uh, gee, all of a sudden it doesn't look anything like it did a second ago. And uh, that texture there is all buildings, individual buildings many of them built in rows and uh, on the left side of this rock rock right structure is a uh, is the end of it and uh, there's a on the very end of it there's structures that go from the top to the bottom and then also there's a, a row of buildings over there uh, and there's an area of shade there um, to the left and I think those are actually dark buildings and shade but I couldn't say for sure. And along the bottom of this thing, and it doesn't come out very clearly, but all the way along the bottom is a row of structures also, and you can see some of the openings. But uh, this is really, really quite huge. And you don't realize, when you're looking at that original picture, that that, that rock that looked like it's about, you know, 15 feet in front of you, has got to be miles and miles and miles away. It's either that or these structures are really tiny. <laughs> and I just don't believe that uh, that we're talking about, you know, little people. I don't, I don't believe it at all. So, so the other end of that means that these are, uh, are full-size people and these pictures are taken from a very long distance away. Once you realize the scale, uh, you never look at these pictures the same again. Um, you know, what's way in the distance in those pictures really is way in the distance, but what's up close, what you're tripping over, is uh, also uh, very far away. And the number of buildings is incredible. And the, uh, you know, the the mass civilization here, the uh, tightly compacted people, these tightly compacted buildings is is really incredible. And uh, it's not just the buildings, if you even look in the background there in the tan, and you know, you should look in the background of every single picture because there's a, usually more going on back there than what's in the front too. And I'm just trying to show some of these other structures. Um, 
Again, the, the, the black dots are a giveaway, or the little black rectangles helps you see what the see those buildings and some of them are different colors you know some are brown some are black some are bright colored and then obviously things are going to be different too when I uh, turn the picture inside out like this so this is a negative and it does make many of those buildings much clearer and much easier to see when you do this and it's not always true I don't know why you know sometimes the uh, the negative uh, picture doesn't uh, doesn't do any good at all and if it doesn't do any good I don't add it in I but I look every single time because it does bring out some uh, incredible uh, detail sometimes and I just enlarged a, a part of it there and you can see uh, those rows of buildings pretty clearly and then there's that brown area there you know to the left uh, you can see those buildings also you know pretty clearly but the point of this is, you know, even if you can't see them all that well, and, and I know this is a difficult, this is another viewer partic participation uh, video, but even if you can't see all those buildings crystal clear and all that, you can see them. And that's enough to know, enough to understand the scale of what we're talking about. Uh, again, that's a really a pretty natural looking picture and by golly those look like rocks, you know, but they are really ginormous and uh, a very far distance away. Uh, this is a triangular rock. Um, this one's actually kind of leaning over and I keep calling them rocks. <laughs> I've done that so many times now. It, you know, I don't want to call it a building because it's, you know, huge clusters of buildings you know I, I think they build all throughout you know I think from the top to the bottom if you drilled a hole uh, you'd be drilling right through structures all the way down to the bottom and how about this uh, this big building up on the top of the hill there I uh, know you can see structures coming down the front of that hill there um, a little ghostly I understand that but you can see them and then this big building on top of the hill how big is that and this is almost a pyramidal shape uh, part of the hill there, it's, but it's not. It's not a pyramid. But you can see the ghosts, the building standing there. And I love the fact that they have um, those, those openings because they can really point it out. Looks like a snowscape, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So uh, here we are in the negative again. And uh, the bright white stuff becomes dark and vice versa. And that area in the triangular area there are you know hundreds or thousands of, uh, of of skyscrapers or tall buildings there's two in particular in that triangular area that stand out kind of right in the middle and then but you need to look at these pictures and let your eyes adjust and uh, focus in find something you you can recognize and then move around from there um, but you do have to allow your eyes time to adjust and realize what you're looking at. Uh, even me, when I know what I'm looking at and I go to it, I even have to hold up for a second and let my eyes uh, put it all together for me. Um, you know, it's, maybe it's not quite that difficult and make it sound harder than it is, but it's, uh, uh, you just need to orient yourself and uh, give your, your eyes a chance to, uh, you know, to focus in on, on things that you see. Um, it's mass humanity and it's it's right at our feet in this picture I mean whoever would have thought I mean who in their right mind would focus in on these big rocks right in the very front of the picture <laughs> you know it's just I got lucky when I did that um, here is uh, that front of that hillside again this time the picture is still is inverted and so you can see the buildings coming down there and in some rows and just a lot of uh, different shapes or different size square buildings and then this area on the right here um, I, I did it I enlarged it and there's a uh, all these buildings um, on, the, on the in the brown area there again you can see the openings and in the white area I think that's down you know on the ground uh, a ways away but go to the top of the white area and you can see two black buildings perfectly cube shaped back there and then come forward and you see a couple more buildings these ones are white 
And that whole area is full of buildings. Um, probably didn't leave enough time, need to go back and look at it. Now we're looking at areas out there that look like, kind of like shale rock. But uh, guess what? It's not rocks. And I know this picture is somewhat blurry. Uh, that's, you know, what we always have to work with. But it's clear enough to see that this shale are rows of buildings. Um, and you can see the blurry uh, openings. Uh, and there's a building to the right there about the four o'clock position. There might be a couple buildings that are together and you can see those are very clear structures. And then on the left hand side of this picture, a seven, eight o'clock position is something that looks like the beginning of a temple going up. Uh, it's not and I'm going to uh, focus on that here coming up, but uh, very interesting structure there. I think it's it may be one of those uh, triangular buildings in the making. You know, I don't, I don't know for sure. I never know anything for sure. I do know one thing for sure that uh, you know this is they trip us up. You know, you just don't realize what you're looking at. And I've been trying to be in touch with some of the. Uh, people that do what I do and I keep urging them to uh, do something crazy you know uh, focus in on something close up and see what happens because it's fairly shocking it's all shocking you know the uh, the population density is really incredible it's people on top of people I mean it's it's thick so you see that uh, temple looking you know it starts on the right comes up and it looks like it might be uh, the in, in the process of becoming one of those triangular structures that are much larger. Now this one here is uh, very interesting. That whole area to the right is like a flat valley or whatever, and it's completely covered border, you know, border to border with buildings. And I, it almost looks like these buildings, uh, you know, that they they they're, they build them and we're frequently looking at the tops of the buildings and not, uh, not, not much of the sides. I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, it was a hard, this was a hard picture to, to work with, but you know, once again, I just want to say you can see the structures. Uh, they are there, and which means they're right in front of us, which means it's the scale. Uh, it's another rock, right? This rock is a little further away than the other ones, but not very far away. Yeah, it looks like you could, uh, you know, pee on it from here. <laughs> and uh, here's another boulder field. Um, maybe that would be a good name for a city on Mars, boulder field. But these, uh, again, as you know, uh, are not boulders. Uh, every one of these uh, rocks here are structures. They're not rocks at all. And there's some pretty good view um, of, of structures in the background there, too, which are really good you might have to go back and look at those uh, yeah you might be able to see them but when there's a color picture the that white area in the back is all structures and you can see them pretty clearly so uh, thanks again folks for watching I made it through this as a long video and I thought I'd start coughing but I made it anyway thanks a lot see you soon bye bye